I'm Jen, I'm a first year history student at Merton College, Oxford. Hi, I'm Izzy, I'm a first year law with European law student at Oxford Merton College. And we're very excited today to be showing you a day in our lives. So we both got up about half seven, um, shower, got ready, had breakfast, had some cereal. I had porridge because we're allowed microwaves this year and I'm taking great advantage of that. Exciting. <laughs> and then, yeah, got out for our coffee, um, which we really enjoyed just getting out in the morning, going and getting a nice coffee, going for a bit of a walk around the gardens and stuff. Hopefully you'll see all our little videos of that. Um, and now we've got a library slot booked at the Owl Library. Um, one of Merton's two libraries, it's the Old Warden's Lodgings yeah. um, and so that's from half nine till twelve. And then after that we have lunch, which is very exciting, mm. highlight of the day. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we'll probably just take you to the library and maybe tell you what we're up to yeah. while we're doing it. Well, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye. Oh god, so um, what are you doing in the library today? Um, I'll be doing a bit of contract law. I've got to finish off my reading list because I've got a problem question to write tomorrow. I'm doing it about 4 pm, so I'm just trying to finish it all off. <laughs> uh, and I'm reading for a class which is happening tomorrow, and then I have an essay to write on it um, for a few days after that. So I'm just trying to get through the reading. Um, and a lot of primary sources this term, which is really nice. Yeah, because we're both humanities, social science type students. We just have a lot of reading, a lot of our days just. Let's sit and get reading done because um, we have less contact hours than maybe STEM sheet stuff, but obviously yeah. we enjoy that because we just like to read. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we'll see you in there. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> finished in the library now. Yeah. It was quite productive, we were pretty good, we managed to work solidly through most of it. Yeah. Feeling much better about having a couple of hours work under our belt so we can enjoy well fair tea and lunch this afternoon. Yes. Um, yeah, finally moved past the section I was on, it's taken ages yesterday so I'm very glad to have got a bit further on. Yeah, I'm um I'm doing a, a module called Imperial Republic, so it's about America and it's like informal empire. So I've just read an article on Hawaii and in the course of the library visit have signed myself up to do a presentation in the class tomorrow. So my afternoon is now going to be dedicated to that, I think. <laughs> so we're heading back to drop our bags off and then lunch. So we're on our way back from lunch now. We've gone lovely. <laughs> it's great. We really love going to lunch in hall because it's so cheap. It's like two pounds fifty. You get so much. Yeah. Uh, it's a weight off your mind. You don't have to figure out what you want, where you're gonna go, cooking yourself. And it's a good job that Merton's food is incredible. <laughs> Can confirm. It's amazing. <laughs> so now we're gonna go our separate ways. Um, and work in our own rooms for a little bit um, before welfare tea. So we'll be reunited in mm -hmm. mere hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you then. I just thought I'd explain a little bit about what my degree looks like and the difference between just doing law and then law with European law. Um, so I'm actually on the four year law course offered by Oxford and so in my first two years 
it's basically exactly the same as everyone on the three year law course um, apart from in the second year I'll have some introductory Dutch classes because then in my third year I'll be going to the Netherlands for the year to study there and um, where I'll be taught in English um, studying European law modules and um, Oxford does also offer um, German law, Spanish law, Italian law, uh, French law and in those you get taught in the language um, but yeah no I'm, I'm being taught in English in my um, third year and then after that year in the Netherlands I'll come back to the UK, finish my fourth year in Oxford, so I'll essentially slot in with the year below and do the equivalent of everyone else's third year where I'll then sit my finals. Um, so yeah, that's that's law with European law. And then I also thought I'd just mention how law is a little bit different from some of the other subjects, especially in your first year, because we sit our exams at the end of second term. Um, so I've already done I've already done my first year exams for the year, got my results, all that. So. Um, that's kind of a weight off my shoulders now whereas most of the other subjects do their first year exams at the end of the third term um, Trinity which we're in now um, which is the final term of the year so Jen and, and most of my other friends still have their final exams for this year left to go um, whereas I've got them got them out of the way so hopefully this term should be, be a bit nicer because last term I was at home had my exams was doing Roman law on top of that. The other um, subjects you do for those exams are criminal law and constitutional law. Um, all three of them are really, really interesting. I've, I've really enjoyed doing them. Um, and then the modules I've got this term, I'm doing the full module of contract law, which so far <laughs> doesn't seem to be my favourite, but I think maybe I just need to give it a chance. Um, and then I'll also be starting tort law um, and so we're doing half a module of that this term so then when we come back next year we'll finish the other half of that alongside starting a whole new module so yeah that's what that looks like <laughs> got back from dinner and I realised not really showed you a lot of what I've been doing this afternoon so I thought I'd fill you in. Um, Izzy and I stayed at Welfare Tea which you'll have seen for the full hour. We usually like to bring books or laptops and kind of make the most of the time to sit together and work. Um, Chestnut Hall sometime is open also in the afternoon so it's it's quite a nice workspace to sit socially and because it's socially distanced and there are screens you can sit with whoever you want and it's it does feel very special and i feel very lucky that we've been able to do that um welfare teas with lovely scones and jam and clotted cream um it's a very nice treat and helps break up the day and break up the week uh so we always try to go for that if we can and then we came home did a little bit more work I went to meet a friend who's also doing a presentation tomorrow. So we kind of tried to bounce some ideas off each other, get an idea about what we wanted to say, um, which is really lovely. One of the great things about Oxford and Merton is that uh, there are loads of other history students me to talk to and bounce ideas off of, and everyone's so friendly. Um, it's just such a lovely thing to be in a place with like-minded people. So, and we went to dinner together, which you'll have seen. <laughs> it was very lovely. And then now I'm back home to do a little bit more work. I'm gonna try and get my head around this source, get some ideas done on paper, so I don't feel like I'm gonna flounder tomorrow. <laughs> no, I know no, I probably won't, but it's always nicer to have something down. And then Izzy's gonna come over and we're gonna get ready together, which is very exciting because we've not really been out a lot. So, I'll see you later. What's up? What's up?